what's the crack gang here on here today's tutorial we're gonna go for a chrome style and uh, this is probably the first time I think that we've colored anything in these tutorials but um, we're gonna give it give it a go hopefully I can get it across like there is a few different processes and stuff that we haven't really used yet but uh, I'm looking forward to this one and, uh, and I hope I can impart some uh, tips and tricks on all you guys so uh, basically I know it's 2021 now and like 2020 was the year of the chrome logo like everyone kind of got sick of them like we all seen them on every like hip-hop album like everybody and their granny was making chrome logos but that's not the type of chrome I'm, th I'm thinking about I'm thinking about old school trash death chrome and in particular like yeah the kind of style I want to achieve today is really drawing heavy inspiration from um, two obituary albums in particular, uh, Slowly We Rot and The End Complete. Like, The End Complete because it has that real, real nasty blade-like kind of vibe going on. And uh, Slowly We Rot because it has that gradient going above, uh, er, from the top to the bottom of the logo. And I think that looks real badass. Like the, the heavy metal movie, if anybody's uh, uh, familiar with that. That kind of gradient style. So, um, without further ado, we're gonna just get cracking. Right, so for this one, I'm going to use the previous logo that I did, the Death Thrash style, very symmetrical logo. The reason I'm using this is because uh, it's flat, there's very little detail other than the actual like uh, edging and shape of the letter forms. You can use pretty much whatever uh, existing logo you have that you've already made, but just make sure that it's, it's, it's flat and it's not too detailed because we're, we're not going to, you're not going to want to like go over detail with the chroming effects that we're going to use because that'll just it, it'll cover it up so basically we're going to open our, our assets here i've left a folder in the description of this video and it'll include all the assets that i've used so feel free to uh, dig in there and use them yourself so uh, we're going to just grab our logo and make sure it's transparent on a transparent background and on one layer so i'm gonna duplicate the layer, select my whole logo and then make a new layer and then I'm gonna get the gradient tool and figure out what kind of gradient color I want and in this case it's gonna be like the obituary logo like a, a dark blue into a lighter blue into like a sandy kind of uh, orangey kind of vibe after that then I'm gonna save that logo or save that layer and then we're gonna make a new layer so once you put your gradient layer down um, you just duplicate the bottom layer. Make sure to always like uh, name your layers, you know, so we actually know what's going on. But uh, you duplicate your bottom layer, and then we'll go into our layer style and go into bevel and emboss, and uh, we'll, we'll pick a smooth kind of um, embossing and maybe put it to like size 13 and anti-aliasing on. That'll give you a nice soft edge. Then we'll go to inner shadow, uh, make the choke about 15. That's all, re all that really matters, and that'll kind of like make a dark kind of edge so it's solid. Then we'll go to inner glow, we'll pick a nice kind of purple colour. Uh, keep our opacity down a bit because we want this to be the glow on the edge of the letters. And then we'll go into our gradient overlay and we'll pick uh, a bright kind of metallic looking bluey kind of turquoise, you know, w w with a dark colour to contrast it. In this case, I'll just pick black. So uh, once we kind of play around with that, we can just like rasterize that and see how it looks. And as you can see here, I've left like a, li a few little holes from our, our previous um, draw through. You know, as I said, it wasn't quite finished. But um, moving on anyway, we'll start throwing drips in. And uh, I don't actually own these assets, so I can't put them in the folder for you. But a quick Google search, you know, you'll be able to find some license free ones that you can play around with. Or you can just draw them in. In this case, I'm opting to go quick, so uh, I'm just like throwing these in. And as you can see, I'm kind of like duplicating and chopping and changing, kind of painting over and using the eraser to cut off bits and just kind of make trying to make it look natural you know like the drips are kind of like hanging off it i want to make these blood drips like the uh slowly we rot obituary logo um so we want them to kind of look just like like kind of stringy and gloopy and rotten you know like so uh just kind of play around and see what you think looks good you know like we don't want it to be like uh total mirror symmetry with the drips because like that won't look real you know what i mean so kind of just play around as you go uh, then I just grab that layer, fill the black, and kind of you'll, you'll again with your eye just kind of nip tuck and see things that need to be done. But uh, eventually, 
once you have it looking nice you can merge those layers and again make sure you name it we're gonna call that chrome logo drips and uh, we're laughing then we can go back to our to our um, layer styles and all those layers you put in there should all the values you put in should still be there so it's just a matter of turning them on so that's gonna be like your um, emboss your inner shadow inner glow uh, satin as well uh, that'll kind of like give it that kind of flat sort of feel and um, once you're happy with that, you just rasterize that whole layer. And this is where a little trick comes in. So that gradient that we picked earlier, we're gonna put our new layer above the gradient, and then we're gonna choose color as our blend mode. And that will like essentially make it transparent, but just pick out kind of like the, the sharp edges and bits uh, and details, but let the color kind of shine through. Then you can, with your gradient, you can just kind of mess around, you know, with um, uh, your hue and your saturation, your brightness and contrast, until you kind of get it look, looking kind of how you think in your head it should. Then, like, you merge your layers together, and then um, with one of the assets that I have in the assets folder, it's like a kind of metallic texture. We're gonna throw that over, and we're gonna use overlay. And overlay will just kind of like, uh, again like m melt it kind of into our logo and give it like make as you can see here it really looks like it's made out of metal now the combination of like the chroming the the gradients and the metallic texture as well as bringing our, our brightness and contrast up to give it that kind of shiny kind of vibe really makes it look like metallic and really makes it look like that 80s kind of classic metal chrome that we were we were hoping to achieve now again, as I said, I was going to go all out with this and make it pay homage to uh, the obituary logos off Slowly We Rot and uh, The Incomplete. So, of course, what does like old school death metal always have? Just nasty bloody drips everywhere. So I'm taking some of my, my splatter um, assets and it, a couple of people have actually asked me about how to make different assets. So I'm thinking I might actually make a video about that. Uh, long story short it involves a lot of india ink and uh, a scanner but um back to this logo i am making sure my assets here my drip assets are on transparent pngs and the color red obviously so i'm just overlaying them over my logo then i grab my whole logo layer select inverse and delete and that deletes like the the outside the blood on the outside outside of the the logo itself then I use multiply as the blend mode, so it kind of like again it'll take the lightness out of it, so it looks like just real dirty dark blood. And uh, now I'm just taking any brush, and I'm just, this is just a round hard brush, and with the same color red as my my splatter textures, I'm painting in the drips as, as like a red color. And remember, like gravity makes like blood drip downwards, so the blood is always going to be on the bottom of the blades of the logo. Like you're not going to have it like you know sticking at the top of like uh, you know what i mean like you can use your own head uh, for this one like but uh you just paint it in where again where you think looks natural and i'm gonna grab that logo again select the inverse and delete and now we've got uh, oh sorry also with multiply on that same on that same layer but now we've got a really convincing looking um bloody drips i kind of felt that it was lacking a bit or like it could have done with a bit more blood so I kind of went all out here and again I'm just taking my um, splatter texture and I'm duplicating it and merging it and then bringing it over kind of parts of the logo that I think could do with a bit more blood again selecting the inverse of my logo and deleting the, uh, the outside parts and now I'm using the uh, overlay instead of multiply to give it a bit more of a brighter kind of vibe you know with some we don't want all the blood on the logo to be the same color because it kind of just looks like a flat end doesn't it like so first for the first kind of the first half of the blood drips i've gone for multiply to make it dark and for the second half i've gone overlay just to kind of like give it a highlight i guess you know what i mean just just to kind of change it up a bit make it a bit more dynamic looking so yeah now i'm pretty happy with this and i'm gonna start throwing in some uh, lens flares so these will kind of act like shines as I said we want this to look real 80s really really 80s so 
we're going all out with this and we're gonna throw like little flares in here and there. Again, these work best always on edges and at the kind of top sharp, sharpest parts of the blade or like points where two blades meet, if you get me. Uh, the kind of place that would glint and catch like a natural kind of like sunlight gleam, you know? So this is again, it's up to you. You can just kind of put these wherever you want, really. Uh, as long as it looks natural to you, like no one's gonna be writing home to, to give out to you. But um, you can go overboard with these, but I kind of like to kind of go like three per side or four per side, you know, like not to, not to go overboard. But yeah, now this is looking pretty damn nice. And uh, so long as you've got your layers all nicely named so that you know where you are and you're not running around like a headless chicken, um, you can merge all your layers or no sorry don't merge them group all your layers and keep them together but then you can duplicate that group and then merge it now that you've got everything merged together uh just to kind of set it off and give it that like last little bit of texture we can just throw a little bit of noise on this like gonna be like a uh, uniform noise but not monochromatic we want like a little bit of color in that because it is going to be a hooded logo and to be honest now we're, we're pretty much done so and again, this is like, there's a kind of a lot going on. If you're not used to your blend modes and stuff in Photoshop, uh, there could be a lot going on here. Um, but it is very simple. It's just a matter of like, you're using a, a soft bevel, you're using some inner shadow, you're using inner glow, then you're using a gradient overlay all on one layer, rasterizing that layer, then using, selecting your, your logo shape, making another layer and just putting your other gradient overlay, overlay the blue to kind of tan above that then using uh blend modes like color to just merge them together so it is a, it's a lot of trial and error there is no real like um book to or like bible to this it's kind of you just wing it and you kind of play it by ear and whatever looks good for you you know it's good at the end of the day so if anybody has any questions about this uh please just like fire me a few um questions in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to you no i will get back to you and uh thanks again for watching and uh, best of luck please send me on anything that you've made and uh take care